everyone welcome back to another video so today i will be sharing with you my nclex uh, journey so for my nclex journey i studied i started studying one week after my preceptorship so the materials that i used are u world and nclex rn saunders this one um the seventh edition I even tab them so that it's easier for me to um, go to the chapter that I need, I want to study or I need to study. So what I did, um, I studied for three months, and I in those three months I did not work. Um, I prioritized passing, passing the um, the NCLEX RN. So that's my priority. So for the first one and a half month, I would study system per system. I would uh, read the system in the uh, Saunders NCLEX RN. And then I would answer the questions related to the system that I just uh, studied in UWorld. So that's how I, I did it. And then for um, the last one and a half month, I studied randomly. I just answered questions. I answered questions, um, minimum 100 questions a day maximum like 150 a day but i have to make sure that i take um i take breaks in between so i why do i highly recommend you world i highly recommend rec recommend you world um because you world i noticed that um they they would like the students to master the information um, that we need to know before we take the NCLEX. And how, how they do that is through repetition. So I noticed that if you, um, if you answer all the 2,000 questions or if you at least answer like 70% of the 2,000 questions and understand and read the rationale, you will notice that um, they would repeat the concept, right? Um, sometimes I would go, I think I've answered this one before. I think I've already uh, read about this topic in the previous days that I was answering questions. So they do that because um, our brains are like autopilot. Whenever the information is like um, presented to us on a repeated basis, we would master them because it, it, our brains absorb the information and it, high, it retains it when, it when the information is presented repeatedly. So I think that's the U world formula. That's why you have to know you have to know how to use U world effectively. Because um, for me, I would say I would say U world and the Saunders are enough. I'm not in any way associated with U world, but I have firsthand experience with U world. So I highly recommend you use U world in your preparation for NCLEX RN. Uh, and the main thing is you have to um, understand and really absorb what really read and um, understand the rationale. That's really important. Uh, even if you if you got even if you got the question correct, you have to understand why you got it correct. Um, another uh, resource that I use uh, is. Are, uh, I, I believe you are familiar with Sarah uh, in U2, Sarah Registered Nurse RN. I would listen to her uh, whenever I do chores, like whenever I do cooking or laundry or vacuuming, I would listen to her. She has great videos and all her videos are free of charge. So I definitely recommend listening to her videos too. So before you take the um, NCLEX, you have to set your priorities uh, straight. I did not work during my uh, preparation for the NCLEX. Um, what I did, I saved up some money for those three months that I will not work and to help also my husband in paying the bills. Um, I believe not working is, it helped me a lot in my NCLEX preparation. But it's gonna be up to you if you know how to manage your time wisely and not working is not an option then you gotta be uh, disciplined and you have to have an excellent time management uh, 
one thing also that I would recommend um, for those of you who are having a hard time um, concentrating and for those of you who have uh, a hard time um, prolonging your attention span, I have a very short attention span. When I, when, what happens is that whenever I study and read a topic, like I would lose my concentration like after like may, maybe 30 minutes or 40 minutes. Um, and I, I would be very, uh, un, I would be very um, inefficient with my study time whenever, uh, whenever that happens to me because of my short attention span. So you can look this technique up. Um, it's called Pomodoro Technique. So what I did, I, I actually applied it in my study, uh, my study technique. So what I did in Pomodoro Technique, I set like maybe 20 minute time frame. Um, so in that 20 minute time frame, I'm not going to do anything but to focus and study like the material that I assigned myself to study in that 20 minute time frame. And then, you know, that way my mind is like focused because I basically gave myself a task. Okay, this is your task for the 20 minute uh, uh, time. That, uh, you, and then you have to complete it. You have to um, study study this material. And after 20 minutes, you have to have already uh, finished it. So it's like I'm motivated that way. I'm more focused that way. And then after the 20 minute uh, time frame, I would have um, 10 to 15 minute breaks. So after the 10 to 15 minute breaks, I would all I I would again study for 20 minutes. So I do it chunk by chunk. And then when I notice that I am more focused, I'm more concentrated on what I do on studying, I would increase the time frame for like 30 minutes and then 45 minutes, and then one hour. So that way I'm like. To me, it's more effective that way. You can look it up. It's called Pomodoro Technique. It's very effective. Um, so if you are like super scared about the NCLEX, I know I have been there too because I was so worried because I, I'm, I'm really scared to take the exam before because I, I haven't been opening or reading my nursing books for quite some time. And I graduated like years ago, almost 15 years ago. Um, I'm an average learner. Um, and back in college, I did not have any, I did not have any Latin honors. So I'm, I'm, I'm an average uh, person. I'm not. Um, it's also important for you to know what kind of uh, learner you are. Uh, you can go to Google. And um, you can take tests to for you to determine what kind of learner you are. If you were a visual learner, auditory learner. So when I went to Google, um, I went to a website and then I took some tests. And then um, that website basically told me that I am a kinesthetic learner. So kinesthetic learner, I learn best by um, reading examples, by graphs, case studies, like that. So it's, if you know what kind of learner you are, it's going to help you in your um, study or, or preparation for the NCLEX. So also, uh, some side tips. Um, whenever I start to study, I would chew peppermint gum because according to some studies, peppermint, they, they help in brain functions, um, they help with uh, thinking, um, absorbing um, information and stuff. So um, you might also want to try that peppermint gum. Actually, I believe 30 minutes before my NCLEX, I was chewing peppermint gum because um, I also took some ginkgo biloba. So they said, according to research also, ginkgo biloba, it helps with the memory. So I also took that like every other day. Um, the next one, of course, the most for me, the most effective of all the preparation is the the prayer. So you have to pray to whatever uh, divine power you believe in. It helps. And yeah, 
So I believe that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I I hope you are well and you, I hope you are okay. And um, I'm praying that, you know, um, the province of British Columbia would be more lenient to um, internationally educated nurse. Um, so hopefully, hopefully you guys can finish uh, your process in obtaining your Canadian RN uh, license. And yep, I'll see you around and uh, have a great day.